There's a snake. Get it, Jason. Wow. It's a hook. No, it's not. I don't do snakes. I don't like snakes. Jason takes them home and feeds them, and I don't like them. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's Ben. It's Monday morning. It's been a kind of a crazy Monday, but you can see it's a beautiful day out. And I'm gonna run and meet up with Jason, one of our technicians. We're gonna talk about voles and moles today. There's a little bit of confusion out there as far as what is a vole and what is a mole. And most of the confusion comes from when somebody's trying to see what's tearing up their yard. So you guys will remember, we've done a few things with moles already. We did some uh, myth busting about juicy fruit gum and some other stuff for, for moles. So we use a couple of different methods to take care of moles. We use some traps or we use the uh, CO2 machine and uh, we have pretty good success with it. But you can't treat moles if you don't know what they are or what they look like or if they're actually voles. So we have a customer and uh, they aren't sure if they've got moles or voles. So we're gonna go look at it. That way we can price out what they need for service and get them taken care of. You guys put your guesses. Is it moles or is it voles? Both of these critters are very common in our area. Uh, moles are funny looking, they've got big paddle feet that make them really efficient in digging and they tunnel and they eat earthworms. They can eat grubs and some other stuff like that, but they do prefer earthworms. That's their, that's their steak and potatoes. Will you eat rice cakes? If that's all there is, yeah, you'll eat rice cakes. So one of the myths that people tell you is treat the grubs in your yard and that'll get rid of your moles. There's no guarantee. You treat the grubs, you're taking away one of their lesser liked food sources, but likely you've got worms in your yard, so that's not a guarantee that you're gonna get rid of them. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Now, voles. Voles are not in the same kind of rodent family. They are in a mouse family or a field mouse family. They look like a mouse. Um, they don't have a tail as long as a mouse. And they do burrow in the ground. Their tunnels are typically either above or next to items instead of being a tunnel through the earth. Moles will make a tunnel and they'll, they'll kind of poke up the ground. Voles will actually run across the top of hard surfaces or whatever. And they, I had voles when I lived in Utah in our yard and they tear up a yard because they tunnel all across. They run back and forth so many times that they beat down the grass and then they dig holes next to, you know, the foundation or the sidewalk or whatever. They dig a bunch of holes. So the way we treat them is differently. Could you burrow or use the CO2 machine in the burrows, maybe. Uh, but they are in the mouse family, so they're going to eat some of the same poisons or bait that we use for mice. So that's that's what we do. We found a, a specific product that you can use for burrow baiting that's labeled for it, and that's what we use to treat them. They eat it up, they die, they're outside, and they're gone. So that's a vole. Some people make these cool traps out of like a bucket and runners and stuff. I, I don't know. It could work. Drop them in a bucket of water, whatever. But we use, uh, we use products. They seem to work the best. We've got a really good control uh, history with bowls. As long as we can properly identify them and uh, put products close enough to them two very boring minutes later all right so i got here to the house just waiting on jason to show up but uh so here's our house and they've got empty lots next door 
So I'm gonna guess before we start that it's voles, just because moles like more established yards. But I don't know, they could be coming from the other direction. So as soon as Jason gets here, we'll take a look. He finally shows up to work. So we treat this one, right? So the first thing I notice is this bait box. Is there anything in it? So that can be used for voles. You can check underneath the. I haven't touched it. Oh, look at that. They like voles, like hard objects, like the edge of the sidewalk or the edge of the house or underneath the splash blocks. So that's a burrow underneath the splash block, but I, I don't think they're active. They probably ate the bait the first few times that we filled it. So there's still bait in there. And then we look along the edge here and there's what looks like it used to be some activity from voles. So we're not sure what they're talking about. We'll have to walk our way around. Right along the edge of the driveway, they got old vol trails, I believe. And then right here. It's hard to see, but it kind of looks like trails top of the grass, that's going to be bowls. All I'm seeing is old, like old vol remnants. There's a snake. Get it, Jason. Wow. It's alive. Oh, it's leaving. No, it's not. I don't do snakes. You put that back. <laughs> I don't like snakes. Jason takes them home and feeds them, and I don't like them. So they've got a dog, and that. Oh, there it is, looking at us in the window. <laughs> Jason checked another one. None of these look active though. They look like everything's good. They're just old. So you'll see a lot of marks in the yard with voles where they will trail across the top of the grass and then they'll jump into their holes. With moles, you'll have ground pushed up and you'll have mounds of dirt where they kick up their nests. There's no sign of moles here. The only thing we see are former voles. Anyway, that one's pretty straightforward. So when you're doing an inspection, what do you like looking for? I like looking for the trails of dead grass. This one looks good. So if we take care of the voles, the remnants of the tunnels and stuff aren't going to fill themselves quickly anyway. So one of the things that we'll recommend is they get some topsoil and fill in like along the edge of the sidewalk and underneath those splash blocks. Just get some new soil on there. And then you'll know if that gets disturbed, if there's any more critters roaming around. But I'm not seeing anything active. It's too bad, I was hoping for like some big mess. This is a nice house, so there's no big mess. Yeah, that good. All right, so that's uh, an easy inspection for moles and voles. It looks like there was activity. He, the homeowner called me and said, it looked like a couple weeks ago they had some mole runs in the front yard. I couldn't see any evidence of it, so. If for some reason they come back, he knows who to call. 
we'll come back out and, and see what's going on. It's hard when they're not active or there's not anything going on because there's no story for me to, to follow. But he's got this empty lot next door. So I, I guess I'm thinking if anything voles, but who knows, there could be moles in the area and right now it's dried out a little bit. So they're going deeper and we won't see them. And when it rains, then they'll pop back up. But that's an easy inspection for, for them. Just trying to see the difference. One tunnels in the dirt and one actually uh, digs holes. Moles don't like sunlight, so if they have a hole that you can visibly see, it's usually from a vole because they can deal with the sunlight. Moles want to be completely fixed and covered up. And if somebody does poke a hole in one of their runs, they usually will go and patch it. It's crazy. We're going to patch a hole. That's one of the methods that we use on our traps is we will put a trap on a run and then we'll poke a hole on either side of the trap, on both sides of the trap. So that way, if they're coming from this direction, they got to patch the hole next to it and then go through the trap and try to patch a hole on the other side and vice versa. So, all right. So if you're looking at this video, trying to figure out if you've got moles or voles, the main thing you want to look for is the runs. Are they above or below the ground? Is there big mounds of dirt? And is there a hole where they're burrowing? If there's a hole, a visible hole, not just because it, the, the tunnel falls through and creates a hole, but if there's a visible hole, like they, an entry point, then that's typically gonna be a vole. And if there's paths or dead grass running across the top, same thing, vole. Now, if there's a tunnel where they push up the earth and the grass, and you can see that it tunneled underneath and that's going to be a mole and they will create runs to look for earthworms to eat so that's how that works um, they can be confusing just depending on what they do to your yard but for the most part you can tell one's underground and one just digs holes in the ground so that's the main difference if you guys have any questions or comments you know put them below We'll try to answer those as we go along, but sometime we'll take you guys with us on a, an actual vole treatment and show you, you know, how we bait the uh, burrows and take care of them that way. But that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching. That's our pest control episode for the week. Next episode will be a fun episode. So stick around for that. We're getting ready to announce some stuff, getting ready. Not quite there, but we're getting ready. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.